December 24th, 6.15 a.m. Good morning, beautiful people. What is it? Happy Merry Christmas Eve? Is that what we're saying? Merry Christmas Eve. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Vlogmas. Okay, so we are pulling for December 24th. And I have 10 recommendations that I'm recommending if you need any help picking your Christmas Eve or Christmas fragrance. I have 10 that I will be recommending in this video. And I will touch base on the facial update. A lot of you asked about that yesterday. I do have an update for you. I only used it once. I'm giving you the update right now, you guys. Um, I only used it once. It was amazing. My skin did get a little bit red, but it only stayed red for like a few hours. And then it just, you know, returned back to its normal status, but it felt hydrated. It felt plumped. It felt full. It felt amazing. So I cannot wait to continue using it I will be using it twice a week I will have all the information linked in the description box below all right now let's pull okay you guys here is the 24th 24th here let's open it up <clears throat> it's early I'm drinking some apple cider vinegar that's not tea it's apple cider vinegar I ran out of my gummies so whenever I run out I just drink apple cider vinegar it's so good the benefits are endless okay Okay, we're gonna be saying bye to the confetti after tomorrow. Okay, and I have a huge announcement to share with you in this video, so you don't want to miss it. What is this? Chanel number five. What would you say this is? Soap? I'm thinking it's soap, you guys. Let's see. Oh, a bath soap. I love their bath soaps. They smell amazing, and they scent up your entire bathroom. But that's not what this is. Oh, paper? What in the world? A notepad? Oh, sorry, you guys. Oh, like a cartoon. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, you guys, keep up. Okay, whatever, child. It is a book. I would have loved this to be a piece of soap. I would have really liked that, but it's not. I guess you can use it as a notepad, maybe. I mean, you guys, you know, at this point, I have no idea, but this is what it is here. If you look inside, it has, it's like one of those, whatever. I've seen these on cartoons before. I can't spend much time on it. Okay, I'll move on. So that's what day 24 was. I'm not really impressed by that. Here is the list. It's coming in no particular order. We're gonna start with this one here. This is Marc Jacob Perfect Intense. You guys, this is beautiful. This would be great to wear, especially if you're gonna be indoors. You're not gonna do too much and you wanna keep it, you know, calm and simple, but yet smell elegant and pretty. This is even Grimond in my opinion. This has sandalwood, it has almond. It's a beautiful fragrance. This would definitely be a fabulous choice. And that is Marc Jacob, perfect, intense. I move on. Now, if you're wanting to smell like a snack, honey, this is the way to go right here, especially if you're gonna be in close encounters, chilling with someone special. This is the orange blossom. This one here has rose in it, marshmallow. It is beautiful, it is sexy, it is Grimaud. You cannot go wrong with Killian Love Don't Be Shy, but this is Killian Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. I absolutely love this fragrance and I would highly recommend. Now this one here is Oud Bouquet by Lancome. You guys, this right here, okay? Do not spray heavy if you're going to be indoors. This one here is a beast. It has oud in it, so you already know. It has amber, vanilla, praline. It is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. The juice is rich and OMG, you cannot go wrong wearing these. All of these fragrances give me that Christmas, holiday, Thanksgiving, all of the festivity kind of vibes, especially if you're wearing like an ugly Christmas sweater. Like this right here is gonna take that sweater from being ugly to chic -y. I move on. Let's just talk about it because you know it made the list. This is Kayali Vanilla 28. I'm obsessed with this fragrance. This is, I'm voting this the best layering fragrance that I have found in 2021. Yes, 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 I said what I said. I'm not taking it back. This is gorgeous, it is amazing, it is vanilla, it is brown sugar. You will also smell like a snack. They might want to add you to the menu. I am just saying, smell like a dessert, smell like a snack, smell fabulous, darling. And Kayali 
Vanilla 28. I move on. Go ahead and take your seat at the dinner table, or shall I say the dessert table with angel shares. This is absolutely amazing. Let's give it up for the bottle because this bottle is absolutely gorgeous. Just look at that. It's the detail on the bottle for me. That is absolutely gorgeous. This one here you cannot go wrong with for the holiday or any time during the fall and winter in my opinion. It is simply, simply gorgeous. It is a warm cinnamon, amber, vanilla, warm spicy fragrance that smells intoxicating and makes you want more. Killian did his thing with this one right here. Out of all the ones that came out, this one is my favorite. I smelled a lot of the other ones. The gin was nice too refreshing for my liking. Um, I smelled the apple and the brandy. No, 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 no. If I were to recommend one to you, there's no doubt it's this one right here. I move on. You cannot go wrong with Tobacco Vene by Tom Ford. This is absolutely amazing. It has a tobacco leaf in there, you guys. It's really, really good. Again, I would say you can spray a little heavy, but don't go crazy. Spicy note in here is absolutely gorgeous. It has vanilla, cacao, tonka bean, woody notes in the base. It is simply sexy. It is like, um, it's an attention grabber. It's definitely gonna get you some compliments. I absolutely love this fragrance. This right here is just vanilla and spice on steroids. It is good, good. I move on. This is another fabulous choice. Again, Christmas vibes all the way. This is Mason Margella. This is Replica and this is Jazz Club. So whether you have Jazz Club or By the Fireplace, you cannot go wrong. Tobacco, vanilla, um, it has a little bit of rum. It has pink pepper and bergamot or lemon neroli, I should say in the opening. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Very warm, don't overspray. A little bit of sexy, but more than that, it's just a whole mood and a whole vibe. I move on. I know you didn't think we weren't going to have her on the list. Hello, darling. It is Chanel from the Les Exclusive line. You guys, do not spray this heavy, okay? This is a beast. This is a giant. This is a roar. This is definitely a roar, okay? This is Lee Lion. Oh my gosh, you guys. So good. This is not going to be for everybody. So I definitely would not recommend blind buying this, but I absolutely love it. And this might be my fragrance of choice on Christmas. I don't know, I don't know, but I have been playing with it. In our top notes, we have bergamot, just a little bit of the notes, you guys, so that you know. Amber, patchouli in the base, Madagascar, vanilla, and musk. It is beautiful, it is not really sexy, it's like that classy, elegant, oh my gosh, it's Chanel, darling. Need I say more? Why do we have to get all the thrills and feels for this bottle? Because it's Chanel, why not? So that is this one here. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh, it's a different kind of good, you guys. It's a different kind of good. I love it. I'm biased. Again, I am biased. It is Chanel. I move on. Now, there is no way you can go wrong with this. I believe I wore this like last Christmas. It's perfect if you're gonna be in the house or if you're gonna be out. This is Jo Malone, Pomegranate and Noir. This is the Christmas fragrance, okay? It is so good. It is very warm. It has some fruitiness in the beginning. You've got the berries, you've got the rhubarb. It does have pink pepper, jasmine. It's a beautiful fragrance, you guys. It's very spicy. It screams holiday. So if you wanted to go in and smell like the Christmas tree or whatnot, okay, this is where you would go. Smelling like the complete Christmas wreath in the house. Jo Malone, Pomegranate, and Noir. I move on. Sticking with another fruity fragrance, uh, black currant in the opening. This is Meliora by Parfums de Mali. It has red berries, it has rose, it has vanilla in the base, it has musk. It is so good. I wore this last night to bed, so I'm smelling myself right now because it smells amazing, darling. You would be doing the most without doing the most with this beautiful fragrance here. And the bottle is absolutely gorgeous, darling. So we absolutely love this. This is a beautiful, fruity fragrance as well. I move on. And that is it. That wraps up my list of recommendation fragrances for Christmas or Christmas Eve or whatever your festivities are for the holiday season. 
and you guys turn on your notification bells i will be going live today on youtube you know how i am so i'm not going to tell you an exact time because i know you have to plan your life though um if you miss it i'm going to leave it up there it just may not be live but i will be going live today i'm going to say between four and five so turn on your notification we will have a great time over there. Bring a snack, wear your ugly Christmas sweater, wear your Christmas attire, and I will see you beautiful souls in the next one. Thanks so much for taking the time to spend this morning with me. You guys, it is, what time is it? Hold on a second. Time check. It is, it is 6.46 a.m. I'm gonna go edit this video, get it out for you, do my Christmas shopping. Yes, you guys, I am still Christmas shopping, okay? I still have to make it to the market. I still have to go to the gr girl, guy, okay? I have stuff to do. So I'm gonna go and get all of this done and I will see you beautiful souls on the live. Okay guys, thanks so much for checking in. Don't forget to leave your scent of the day and I will see you in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, darling. Thanks for watching, bye.